Hi guys! Today I'm going to be doing another one of the Secret Santa K-pop tags, and the tag uh, for this one is your favorite album packaging. So I have a couple different ones here um, to talk about. I think I have three types, four types of them to talk about. Um, yeah, and then remember these are tags that anybody can do. You don't have to be a part of the like Secret Santa in order to do them, so I hope that you do, because I think they're really fun. Um, in particular, the first week's tag, which was um, about your favorite songs that would be like unexpected on your like k-pop playlist i think is a really really fun one so i hope people are, are at least doing that one but yes okay on to my favorite types of packaging i don't think i've talked about this too much on my channel so hopefully this is at least kind of an interesting and original one but my absolute favorite type of packaging the very first one that i want to talk about is this like hard book style packaging i guess so a good example of this is party so this is a smaller version of it where it's like hard cardboard on the front you have the cd here on the side the photo book and then you know any extras would be inside of it i just really like this um usually the photo book is glued down which is not the best way but it's usually there what i like about this is it's very sturdy and secure so that's one thing um even if you get into the bigger sizes like this auto circle album again still has the same you know kind of formatting with the glued photo book it's still not too big they're pretty thin even if you get pretty thick photo books like lovelies has one of these with a relatively thick photo book um and it's still pretty thin they sit nicely on your shelf um anyone who has any of these luna albums knows they look really nice together very uniform which i kind of like they're very secure too because they're hard cardboard so they don't get kind of tossed and turned the cd is protected um because it's in like a nice if it has a nub or something it fits well even if it doesn't it like still is pretty solid i think the best version i've seen of this type of packaging is oh my girls secret garden and other ones like this so what's really nice about this one is it's very book like and then this photo book is actually sewn in so it's like really looking at a book you can really look at the photos nicely in this one these ones it's a little bit harder because it's glued down you have to be a little more cautious of like opening it you can still open it pretty wide but it's a little it's a little it is a little harder you definitely you're not like, like damaging it but you're definitely not doing good things for it so what i that's what i really liked about this particular one is that um you could just really get into the photo book and look at it and enjoy it which is kind of the point point. and then the cd again is secure on this hard ca case backside so this is my favorite type of packaging um sm does this obviously luna does this all the time sm does this a lot right now this is usually what all of the um solo albums from the snsd members look come in which is nice because they all look really uniform together so that's probably my absolute favorite my second favorite is essentially the same kind of thing it's almost like the secret garden version but like a soft cover um, so Vix did this for their 2016 conception series as well as for Shangri-La. So again, it's just easy to look at the photo book because it's a book. It's all bound in um, and it can be varying degrees of thickness. So like Lovelies for their second album did this. It's quite thick. Again, easy to look at all the pictures. Um, the CD is relatively safe depending on how they chose to do it. So Lovelies did it in a way that was not very secure. I did not like how they did this, but Vix did a pretty decent job. They have this CD panel glued at the back with the CD in it. They do also have done this at SM. Um, the very old, like, O oh and Hoot and some of the, like, original sort of, um, like, 2009, 2010 albums from SM. So, like, Shiny's 2009, The Year of Us, um, Bonamana from Super Junior were this way, but they were not as good because they were very thin paper. They're very thin photo books, so the CD doesn't get a lot of protection. So I don't like it when it's like that. I like it when it's thicker. While this isn't like, this is just paper, right? But it's not, it's not hard, but it's definitely thicker. Like if you look at, um, if you look at Hoop as a comparison point, like this is super thin paper. And this one's kind of weird too, because it's like postcards, but it's just thin. This is a lot thicker and nicer. You can't quite do that the same. And you can kind of see like where I've opened it. And it's just, this isn't quite as nice. These two are, are, have taken this and done it much better. So the other thing that's nice about this, um, again, is it's very thin packaging. Even these, while they have pretty decent sized photo books, are very thin on a shelf, which I also like. They look really nice. They're easy to flip through and look at. And that tends to be what makes packaging work well for me, is when it's really easy to flip through um, the pictures, because that's like half the reason you buy an album, right? And then also when the CD has some pretty good protection. The third type of packaging I like when it's done well. It is very, very, very rarely done well is box packaging. I think of all the albums I own, this one does the best job. 2PM's um, Grand Edition of Grown does the best job of being good box packaging because the whole thing is basically full, which is nice. Usually when you get box packaging, so twice is page two, to some degree infinite's top seed. Um, the 
Oh My Girls, um, uh, Pink Ocean, Vix Allers, Beautiful Liar, like any of those, even Vix is Chained Up, any of those types of ones, not so good. They don't fill up enough space. This is like almost completely full. Like it's completely full. This is the bottom of the box. They did definitely like filled this whole box up, which is great. So you get two CDs, right? You get like the lyrics, you get a photo book, you get a bonus photo book for this one. You get these like beautiful, um, sorry, beautiful like postcard style things. So I would say that if you're going to do a box, I think a box can be good. I'm not the biggest fan of them all the time because again, they often take up, they don't use enough space in here to make it like worth it. And then what ends up happening is these boxes take up all this room and you don't get a lot of goodies. So the Grand Edition of Grown is probably the best version I've seen of a box packaging. When they do this, it's really nice because again, the CDs are on the bottom. They're in a box. They're usually very protected. The photo book is separate. I love separate photo books. Um, the, that, the jewel case plus photo book slip case thing that everybody hates, which I don't really like either. I, one thing I like about it is that the photo book is separate. So it's really easy to flip through again. These ones, I like this style, but it's hard to flip through the photo books. So that's what I like about the boxes. It's separate. It's easy, but if you're going to do it, you have to fill up the box or make a small enough box that it like works. Um, so this one is pretty good. It's also not too big, like twice as page two, I feel like is almost like double the size of this and comes with way less stuff. So good work 2 PM. And then the last one I wanted to talk about, um, it's kind of another box packaging, but really what I like in packaging is when they, people do something unique, but they do it well. So for example, 17s, 17 carat, very unique packaging, executed incredibly poorly. Worst packaging, hate it. Red Velvet's Summer Magic, the special edition, good, unique packaging. What does this make this unique? So yeah, it's got a slip case, which fits pretty well. So that's one good thing. What makes this unique, it's a box. It's very filled, pretty filled again. Um, so you get the photo book, separate photo book, which is great, lyrics, all that stuff. This comes with these fun, like, summer-themed standees. I will take one of them out. I'll take my giant Irene out. Um, and then what you can do is you can, like, pop it into the CD like that. Obviously, you're supposed to put it in more, but, like, it's cool. You can make a cute little scene, and, like, it's a fun display item. And that's something that I like. It's, like, unique. These are very nicely made. They're very thick. So you can tell they're kind of hard to get out. But like they're very nicely made. They look really good. They look cute when they're all put up together. Um, and it's just something that's interesting. And it's a nice, to, again, a nice display item, which is something that I would love to be able to do with pieces of my collection is just actually display things like that. Um, so yeah, so these were my favorite types of packaging. Um, so again, for me, I think the two kind of main things I'm looking for, CD protection, easy to flip through the photo book. And then as a bonus, if you do boxes and things like that, is to make sure you're filling up all the space. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!